Hey, Retcon Raider here. Today's video is dedicated to Adri Raven, who you may know better as Dame Adriana. Thanks for your support, Adri. That said, let's get started. A year on the estate had taught me to always expect the worst. This was truly a place of living nightmares, with every passing day bringing us some new flavor of existential dread. Indeed, our experiences here had so inured us to the constant deluge of horror that we were simply at a loss on those rare occasions when the fates thought to grant us a boon. And so it was when Rowan Church quite accidentally cured the Crimson Curse as the first year of our grand campaign finally came to a close. Rowan and the others had returned from the Miller's farm with strange tales and even stranger artifacts, including the remains of the unfortunate Miller himself. Exposure to that falling star had changed him somehow, even more so than it had changed the rest of his twisted farmhands. Our researchers soon converged upon the body, all but tearing it to pieces in their haste to understand his transformation. I quickly excused myself from the grisly display, but a few days later, Rowan himself proudly presented me with the fruits of their labor. This, he explained, was the distilled essence of time. A mere drop of this stuff was enough to reverse physical aging by a matter of months. A small boon to a wealthy merchant or nobleman's wife, but to us, it was a way to literally turn back the clock, to return to a time before the Crimson Curse had first taken hold. It was nothing short of a miracle, but one which Rowan grimly informed me they would be hard-pressed to replicate. After all, he explained, there had only been one Miller, and his body had been completely consumed by their experiments. Word of this miraculous new discovery swiftly spread, and soon a veritable parade of hardened mercenaries and greedy treasure hunters were battering at my door. They had little interest in my employ or the safety of the hamlet, but were instead singularly obsessed with the walled-off farmstead on my estate and the mysterious crystals that seemed unique to our peculiar little corner of the world. As for me, I was thinking clearly for the first time in what felt like months. I had felt focused and driven when the curse had flowed through my veins, but now, with my humanity restored, I could see that drive had blinded me to the bigger picture. In our singular pursuit of that precious, sanguine substance, we had neglected any number of other monumental threats. Animate corpses, monstrous pigmen, inscrutable fishmen, they had all returned with a vengeance, and we would have to act quickly before the rapidly growing crises could get any more out of hand. I called upon the cursed knight, Dame Adriana, still cursed it seemed, despite the miraculous cure. At my behest, she quickly assembled a team to sally forth and investigate the resurgence of undead in the old family crypts. She had more than earned my full confidence, and with the likes of Dahl and Carl neath their command, they were all but certain to get to the bottom of these most recent disturbances. That, at least, was one less thing to weigh upon my mind but there were no shortage of other crises that demanded my immediate attention. They were but one of many expeditions that would need to be dispatched in the coming weeks if we were to salvage the estate and stem the tide of these fresh new horrors. Still, despite the seemingly insurmountable odds, the recruits took to their assigned tasks with renewed vigor and enthusiasm. Hope had been restored at least for now. We had survived our first year on the estate, with a few tragic exceptions. But who knew what our second year would bring? 
I entertained a delegation of experts from overseas, eager to plumb the depths of their knowledge and share with them certain techniques and alchemical processes I had found to yield wondrous and terrifying results. Having learned all I could from my visiting guests, I murdered them as they slept. A devil walks these halls. Only the mad or the desperate go in search of him. And welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. I'll admit, after literal months of dealing with the Crimson Curse, it feels strange to have it suddenly purged from our ranks. Of course, we're not quite done with the curse just yet. If anything, this is just a momentary reprieve. The infection rate is still high and the Baron is still out there, so we will still have to address that sooner or later. For now though, we can focus on advancing the campaign in other ways, taking out veteran bosses and uh, hopefully stockpiling some loot. That said, today we're here to take out the veteran necromancer, the first of our veteran bosses. Let's meet our heroes. Purge. Pollock Carl. Dame Adriana. Doll. Okay, looks like right off the bat they're starting us with two fights in a row. And this is our first veteran boss dungeon, so we'll try to take this slowly. Hmm, we don't really need any stress heals right now, so... We'll just save that for later. That's not too bad. Hmm. Well, I was hoping Adriana would go first, but that's fine. Nice. Now for the uh, caster. Or not. Okay, at least damage was minimal. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Okay, let's take a look at our stats here. Yeah, Dame Adriana's got a higher speed than Carl, but... Apparently, not high enough to guarantee she'll always go first. Oh well. Ah, now things are getting a little trickier. Let's go ahead and lock down that other crossbowman. Nice. Oh, unfortunate, but not debilitating. Hmm. That does make things slightly more problematic. The 
decimated. Okay, let's start whittling down those bulwarks. <laughs> this might take a while. Dame Adriana's not having much luck here. Ooh. Sedated. At least we're dodging most of their attacks. Okay, now we should be able to finish off that crossbowman. Oh well, once Carl gets his turn. Eradicated. There we go. It's fine, we've got this. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Oh, secret passage. Very nice. And a couple of fights, too. Not bad. I think we're off to a pretty good start here. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. Yeah, we're already out of storage space. That's definitely going to be an issue. That said, let's see what we've got here. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles, paid for in blood. Okay, well, we definitely don't want to leave those behind. They're worth more than pretty much anything else in the dungeon. Moving on. Oh, we've got an enemy in stealth. There we go. It just took Purge a couple of fights to shake the rust off. Hey, Dame Adriana, too. A time to perform beyond one's limits. Approaches. 
Nice. I think we're building up momentum here. healing, so let's go for the kill. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. The wounds of war can be healed. Never hidden. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Lovely. Well, we'd better not leave that blood behind. We may not have any cursed right now, but... We'll definitely need it in the future. Hmm. I hate to leave those busts behind. We need those for the Sanguine Vintner, too. You know what? We'll leave these crests behind. Now this thing, I think it just buffs us. Oh no, that removes a negative quirk. Okay. Nice. Now he can use his zealous accusation without penalty. Definitely off to a good start here. Nice, more busts. No room for the gold, though. I guess we could swap it out for the onyx. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Fight number four. Oh, that's our first gargoyles. Okay, now it's our turn. Or not. Well, let's see what we can do here. Nice. Let's take out that caster. That's one less thing to worry about. And 
and the gargoyles. Another one bold. Very nice. Now the other one. Back to the pit. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. <laughs> Man, I really hate leaving all this treasure behind. Really should have held on to that onyx. Alright, let's just start ignoring containers. We'll take out the necromancer and then we'll finish looting on our way back out. A nice, easy fight. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted and purpose is made clear. Got it in for Carl. And we're done. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Yeah, I think we can live without these. Nothing else we can justify dropping right now. is struck. A blazing star is born. Let's go for the stun. guys are killing me here. Alright, now for the rest of these guys. Precision and power. Wasn't bad. This expedition at least promises success. 
You know, I could have sworn we had more food. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Well, I don't think it's much farther now, so... I will set up camp right before the Necromancer. That should free up some space. Ambushed by foul invention. So far, so good. Just a little farther. Ah, and there's our first ghoul. Technically our second. That's what the laudanum is for. A devastating blow. Let's see if we can lock that guy down. Very nice. Now, now, you'll get your turn. the glory all right now we can pay attention to you annihilated ghoulish horrors brought low and driven into the mud It's our first spearman, too. A brilliant confluence of skill and purpose. Let's see here. Lock down the bulwark. Turn fire. Now, I guess we should bring him up a little closer. Ah, I guess that really wasn't necessary. We would have been able to kill him either way. Oh well. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? So much treasure wasted. Okay, let's set up camp and uh, free up a couple of slots. A moment of respite. 
A chance to steel oneself against the coming horrors. All right, now, our main goals here are to reduce Carl's stress and uh, see if we can patch up a few of those wounds while we're at it. I might go for a few buffs if we've got points left over. Yeah, I think we've got plenty to work with here. serenading the rest of the party. Get some rest, heroes. can be found in the most tenebrous corners of this place. Really? Impressive. Was a nice wake up call. Moving on. Nice. I can live with that. And here we go. Towering, fierce, terrible, nightmare made material. Nice. Let's get this done. Fiends from the pit, you shall not have me. Eh, not worth going for the stun. I guess we should really just focus on damage here. A decisive pummeling. Very nice. Oh, wow. This might be a pretty short fight. It is a mirror showing me my infinite flaws. Jeez, hold it together, guys. Even the dead may die. Even reanimated bones can fall. Even the dead 
can die again. Hey, I was pretty close. A trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. Well, we definitely want to take those blueprints. Those things are pretty precious. As for the rest of this stuff... Actually, those critical dice are pretty nice. Let's see if we can make room for those, too. Alright, now let's double back and load up on loot. I guess we can dump those bandages. Not a lot of uses for them here anyway. Moving into unexplored territory here, so we might still have some fights ahead of us. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. We don't want to dump the holy water yet. That's used for a lot of these curio. We can get rid of the shovels, though. If we run into a barrier, we can just turn back the other way. Well, good thing we've still got a key. <laughs> nice. That's the sort of hall I like to see. Hey. Looks like we've got a few more enemies to deal with after all. We'll make this quick. Masterfully executed. Destroyed. Nice and easy. As victories mount, so too will resistance. The light, the promise of safety. <laughs> and back we go. No thanks. Ah, uh, and there goes the rest of our food. Guess we need to wrap this up. <laughs> really? Okay, um, 
time to backtrack through three separate halls. Wandering monsters. Oh, another ghoul. cleansed from our lands. Well, technically it was two. The abyss returns even the boldest gaze. Wow, and here I was starting to think I'd wasted money on that laudanum. Size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. And that clears up one more space. Ooh, more busts. Always a welcome addition to our growing collection. Some reward for a task well performed. Ah, uh, there it is. <laughs> the inevitable starvation. To fall for such a little thing. A bite of bread. Well, just a little farther, guys. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, let's push on to this one last room here, and then I think we're done. Ooh. Man, I really wish I hadn't dropped that onyx. Oh, right, I guess I really should have doused our torches. This holds dominion, black as death. And on that note, we are done. Still, all things considered, not a bad run. Good work, heroes. Nice. 24,000 gold, a uh, veritable boatload of heirlooms, and a dead rat. Not a bad day. Uh-oh, and that's four more level-ups. 
Bandit Wolf is joining the party. Fading and musical. Carl's having a weird day. <laughs> oh, and Luminous on Doll. That's another immediate lock-in. All right, folks, we're past the 40-minute mark, so I think that brings us to a pretty good stopping point for the episode. We'll hit the pause button for now, but we'll pick up here next time. See you then.